Alright everyone, welcome back to StarCraft. Uh, War Council and Solar Court literally don't matter. You don't use any of those, you don't have any choices this mission. And you don't have any support this mission from the dick of a dune. The Psi Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Iron. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of a Dune. We can begin as soon as you are ready, Hyra. The psionic matrix is the beating heart of Iron, formed from a lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the Matrix before Amon can recall the Golden Armada to Ayer. Vorazum, Alara. You must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure, but the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. Alright, <clears throat> welcome to this mission. Alright, so I'm gonna hotkey them separately. So we're gonna try to get up here. So these are the Zerg who defeated you? Pitiful. They too shall fall before my power. Only because I will. Tell me, how did you lose ire to these animals? Did they leap up and chew apart your starships? The Zerg were once the greatest threat my people faced. Only a fool would underestimate them. Well then, I will bow to your experience as the fool. Oh, All right, so I agree with this you got a destruction wave, which is uh, basically just kind of kills everything uh, around him, as you've seen. Uh, apparently, mass units are knocked back a short distance. This is kind of like your main kind of wave clearing thing, and when you kill anything near him, he heals. So he's sort of your tank, and you're killing everything person. Um, and you and he also has a deadly charge, which also does great single target damage. And now you're probably wondering, what the fuck is she for, then? Well, there's a lot of swarming in this map, and so you, what you're going to do is you're going to send Vorazon kind of after the kind of the important shit, and then you set, you set Alarak to kind of, like, tank everything. Uh, so she's got a Shadow Dash, which uh, teleports her to a location and resets uh, Shadow Fury's cooldown, which is this thing, which is uh, she randomly teleports uh, to random enemies within five... Uh, radius eight times, attacking each of them for 80 damage. A uh, single target can be hit more than once. And then she has a uh, permanently cloaked, and her shield regeneration rate is greatly increased while she's undetected. Yes. So, neither of these guys can attack air. They both attack ground. The only air attack you have is the destruction wave. So, Overseer is a sort of a problem, so you may have to kind of micro her back and just let Alara kind of take it all. Um, it's also important to note that since you can reset the cooldown on Shadow Fury at any point, you have two options. You can either keep blinking her around and get one kind of Shadow Fury every 50, uh, t sorry, every 10 seconds, or what you can do is wait for the 15 seconds, you use it, and then you blink, and then you kind of get one, like, f like essentially making it so you get, like, two every 20 seconds, or something. No, 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 that's not how it works. Sorry. Like, kind of two every 15 seconds, it's weird. It to be honest, because the, the ability to actually takes time to actually cast, I would just blink Speak every time. It's kind of weird how it works. As I and so she's kind of dancing around. This shit has a short cooldown now. And then I can blink her around. She's just having a good time. We're just gonna kill that overseer. Hesitate to think what you would do without me. You are about to find out. This gate is sealed from the other side, and I shall move through the shadows to open it. The enemy will never see me. Overseers. They can detect my presence. Better to avoid them. Because she's just kind of going ham. It is my honor. Are you done yet? 
that? Or do I need to keep slaughtering the Zerg here? There. The gate has been opened. Finally. Now let us continue. By the way, Vorazon does not heal. I just want to mention that. Uh, that's pretty important, is that when her shields go down, she does, she's actually pretty fragile, too, on top of that. So you kind of want to make sure that uh, she gets back whenever... Uh, you address the High Lord. So goes the High Meme Lord. So, and he, his healing is based upon killing lots of things, so as you can kind of see. Uh, let's go... So this is one of those situations where Vorazon is just going to be sent up and to split off from Alarak and you just kind of micro him around. Like there's no detection in these areas and you now send her for this. It's the Nidus Worms that are the problem right now. But as you can see he has really no issues with kind of just taking everything the fuck out. So she's kind of just dealing with all the shit down there. Is she done? Okay, she's done. Alright, now we need to start kind of moving up this way. This is actually probably the hardest part of this entire mission right here. Because you don't want to let either of them die. And also them losing health is also a big deal, so... So we can kind of just target this guy. I'm trying to take out these guys though. Try to stick, remove the detection though. All right, we can just target that stuff now. Uh, well, actually, they both need to run. Fuck! <laughs> you see what I mean about this map? It's it's ridiculous. We need to kind of like deal with um, we need to deal with that overseer, and then then she can kind of just go in and deal with it however she pleases. Okay, I think she's good now. Okay, wait, go there. And you go for that. Yep, there we go. It's a little bit of weird. Micro I, I've this is the only part I have a little bit of difficulty on because so much shit comes at you at once. Okay, we're good. Swarming on mass. I would do my best to remain undetected if I were you. Our future is the daylight. Uh, obviously, nothing here can attack air for us. So we have to just kind of be careful. And the overseers don't move around anymore. You can kind of see that. And right here. Actually, we can just we go past this. Fuck this. Allies. We Gucci. There is much to be done. Stage we have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you. You address the High Lord. Yes? Oh. No, she, needs to, she needs to remove How detection. Ah, oh. oh, and he died. Fuck! I, I absolutely hate <laughs> the amount of micro this mission kind of wants out of you. Don't worry, we didn't, we didn't die that far away anyways. Because she was dying, I wanted to move her back, and then Alaric starts doing his own thing, and then I tried to get him the health back, and ugh. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you. So shall we. I don't like this one. Uh, Warzone's being retarded. We need to take out these one posts. To be honest. I mean, to be honest, you have absolutely no problems with like killing individual things like that, like killing like swarms of units like this. But all right. This is why I kind of like microing Alarak more than her, but she needs micro if there's detection, so. 
I just kind of use your blink whenever it's off cooldown. That's what I normally do. It does also a bunch of, uh, cause he'll also heal whenever you kill anything, so. They were okay. Also the, the Hydras are DPS, so take them out first. To face them, we will need support. I spent quite some time studying void energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army so a hybrid may fall before it. All right, Phoenix works exactly the same as his little drop thing that you get. Uh, is it good to talk to me? Yeah, it is. An immortal. I cannot free the pilot from Amon's grasp, but I should be able to take control of it. So, he's got a Thunder's Charge, he charges that unit, stuns it, Whirlwind, he does that little spin to win, and then Shield Capacitor, when it's when the shields go down, he he gets it, fully restores all of it. Oh, well, kind of nice. Uh, 45 second cooldown on that one. Uh, so, he's DPS, and he's your... A tank and he's like literally everything as for Karax he's got uh, a permanently control of any robotic unit or proto structure uh, they include sentries mortals reavers class size so anything that's mechanical obviously zealots are not um, apparently he generates a power field around him and it uh, you gain 100% increased attack speed when there's structures and 900% in production speed and we could also make face cannons which are um, a photon cannon that leaves after like 30 seconds so generally we don't even we don't even micro phoenix at all because all of this shit is autocast we just micro uh Karax and that's it uh it's important to note that i mean phoenix and they both have no way of healing themselves they just have no way of doing it i am not detecting any robotic units ahead i suppose now would be a good time to phase in some photon cannons So the, the cannons can kind of tank for you as well, but they'll kind of go away after a while. The power structure lies ahead, but the temple grounds are vast. Hmm. Centuries, immortals, colossi, reavers. We should reclaim as many as possible before proceeding. Are united? Amon shall not prevail. I, I hear you. All right, we're gonna just back up slightly. There we go. We just took over all the units. The gateway and robotics facility in this area. We could then supplement our forces with the units of our choosing. A clever plan. Uh, 
I don't want to get fucking side stormed. What the fuck? I'm curious, Finn Smith. Could you take control of me? If your systems were compromised by Amon, yes. I believe I could purify them. We could just make uh, either Immortals or uh, uh, Sentries. We won't bother with it too much right now. Because we're going to kind of wait until we have a couple more resources and then we're going to decide what we want to make. Oh, I lost one of the sentries I could have potentially had. Because there's a cool, there's a massive cooldown on it. I'm detecting a robotic support bay nearby. If we can claim it, we can construct Colossi. It's yours. Sec, let them, let them attack each other for a sec. Progress is made by the Remember, everything you uh, everything you kill is not something you get that you get to keep. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm kind of like going back and not attacking them and waiting for the cooldowns. I concur. Progress is made by the bold. Ah, uh, this, this has just minerals in it. That's what you think. I think. Uh, I think. I think Phoenix here needs a cold one. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, these guys will not leave him alone. Hey, what's this? Oops, well, it really actually doesn't mean much, does it? Hey, we have a pylon powerade. Taste the golden spray. Yeah, that, um... Yeah, someone must have thought that was really creative. You can't do anything with it, you can't attack it or anything like that. Just invulnerable. <laughs> Little Easter egg I, I discovered during my uh, run of this. The Psy Matrix will fall. Well, we've done this side, and so we have a robotic spay on our, on our, our control, so if we want, we can now make Colossa here. Uh, and we're, we're actually told they're not going to do that. That's like the worst thing. And on, honestly, Karak's kind of walks like he has something up his butt, so... We're going to definitely zoom in on that. Oh, no, no. Maybe not zoom in on that anymore. There we go, we got them all. My expertise is yours. Purpose guides. Alright, what do we have here? We have one immortal. Alright, we'll go like do this. Take over that. Yeah, a couple more buildings here as well. So far I've pretty much shaved almost everything except for like one century. Will fall. We're almost done here, Progress trust me. Guides us. I concur. Progress is made by the bold. All right. There we go. Oh, hey, zealots. Oh, don't. Oh, man, dude, oh, my fucking forces are too strong now. Doesn't matter. All right. My sensors are showing a lot of reavers up ahead. Reclaiming them would be risky, but their firepower would be a huge asset. Hey, what are they going to do? Kind of distract them like that. We're going to try and just take over some of these. Surely the hybrid will be no match for us now. I believe you are right, friend Phoenix. Let us make for the power structure. Alright, I only saved two. That's unfortunate. Whatever. And we got a couple more things, and uh, I don't think there's a path over here at all. No, there isn't. It will be. So no more, no more units for us. So we could go there now, but we want to. Basically, we're going to be just fight. We're going to be exclusively fighting hybrid in like the next area. So we want to make a nice force that has basically exclusively immortals. So here we go, immortals. And how much is that? I return to serve. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll now make sentries. There you go. We, we're left with 50 minerals. So that's that's just perfect. I return to serve. So, <laughs> that's how we do this. We, we just try and leave it with the least amount of resources as possible. I return we good? I think we're good now. Like, Colossi are not going to do us anything in the next area, so that's why we don't even bother. I concur. Also, have you, as you've noticed, probably from the from the last uh, portion I had to do. What the fuck? Take with that. Yeah, thanks. 
That looks like that guy's dead. I don't know where they came from, but I cleared the map. I'm sure Karax is somewhere in there. The way is open. They literally are killing nothing but hybrid. I mean, see, these, are the, these aren't even the, the immortals I have on right now. So that's why your unit choices don't even matter. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. There. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Iyer. Hyrock, I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Karax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers, deploying war prisons. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. Alright. We have to run away from the Psionic Pugas. So, Artanis works exactly the same. He's got like a little dash bash thing, and then he has the ability to heal everyone. And then we have these guys, the vanguards, which have the little scatter cannon attack. One of the choices that we could have had, but we never took. Kill everyone occasionally. The purifiers are fighting near your position, Artanis. We have nearly destroyed a major hive cluster. Also, he has the ability to kind of come back to life if you need to. If you need to, and I'm gonna just target those things. Why are these guys not following me? Who gas energies? No it's poor, poor energies. Also, our tennis also has that thing where you won't die immediately. But honestly, you shouldn't be dying here, anyways. As you can see, we're just fucking annihilating all this shit. Actually, it's actually not that bad of a mission. I'm, I'm usually not a huge fan of these uh, missions where you're like not base building is the best way I can describe it. But this one's actually kind of fun. I put them on a separate control group, by the way, as well, just so I can tell them to do stuff. Like right now. I'm telling him just to go straight. Oh, whoop. And he's actually fine. Oh, we actually have the uh, Sentinels. Nice. I like those.
Oh, his first death. I was gonna kill the rocks. Actually, no, I'm not, because they're dying. I need to destroy these rocks, like, really badly. And also, I don't think he gets another fucking chance right now. You all like, attack that. There we go. Fucking deal with that. There we go, we're good. Oh no, who guessed? A bold club. The final power structure. When it falls, the Psi Matrix will be no more. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance for now. Initiating dimensional recall. Easy peasy. Units lost to energy zero. Control these 15 units. I did 19. I cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artanis. Such noble Templar now made a monstrosity. Those left. Trapped in a body controlled by Amon. It is the most horrific of fates. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. Sisters. When we strike these abominations, will our brethren bear witness within? Will they be silent watchers? Or are they already lost to oblivion? I can offer you little comfort or surety, my friend. But no, what you do is the only course. Hey, let's see what we got here. The Taldarine motherships have warped in to strengthen our fleet. I must admit, they are quite we are the soul of strength. Oh, there you go. So, either use Void Rays and Mothership, or Carriers and Arbiters. I mean, your choice. All pretty good options. Um... I'm probably going to use this for the last mission, and then just make Void Rays or something, but we're not at the last mission yet anyway, so... I don't know, I'll see what combination I want. We're going to do Arbiter and Carrier for one mission, just because I want to do that. Uh, is that... Is there nothing else? Yeah, apparently there's nothing else, alright. So, uh, I guess that's it for today. I mean, no more optional objectives, so we don't get any more solar core power or anything like that, so you just got to deal with it now, so... Thanks for watching, take care.